wanted to show you how to make cake pops. I bought this pan in New York when we visited New York this summer and I didn't expect this pan to make perfect round balls like on its package, you know what I mean. But it could make perfect round balls and they were amazingly perfect. So I'm going to show you how they came out. So I hope you enjoy my tutorial and I hope you can try it out. Here are the ingredients. Preheat the oven. You need half cup butter. I'm going to use two bars of mage milk chocolate, but you can use chocolate chips. Now melt them over low heat and stir until smooth. Then remove from the heat and pour into a bowl. Then add half cup of sugar and mix well. Add two eggs one at a time and mix well. For this recipe, you can use all-purpose flour. Then you need cocoa powder. If you're using cake flour like me, you need 1 teaspoon baking powder. Then you need quarter teaspoon salt. Then sift them into the liquid mixture. And mix well. So this is the baking pan I'm going to use. Grease and flour the pan. Then spoon the butter into the pan just like the amount you see here. Then place top half of the pan and secure with the keys. Now bake for about 15 to 18 minutes. When they're done, cool them in the pan for about 5 to 10 minutes. Then remove them from the pan to cool completely. Trim the edges of cake pops if needed. Now let's decorate the cake pops. I'm going to use my favorite twinkle chocolate. There are some sprinkles inside the chocolate. It comes with stickers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these sprinkles to decorate the cake pops. Now melt the chocolate to coat the cake pops. Dip the cake in the melted chocolate. Do the same for the white chocolate and place them on a parchment paper to set. Now I'm using chocolate pens. Set the chocolate pens in a cup of hot water.
up the tip of the pan and decorate the cake pops. Then decorate with sprinkles. Cool in the fridge and set the chocolate. Then insert the sticks. And now it's done! Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed my tutorial.